Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave of Comic Book Goodness. I am unwrapping another Walmart DC Comics 4-pack. Um, this time, it is one of the Dark Crises, or Dark Crises on Infinite Earths 4-pack. Um, Once again, it's, it's a hefty, it's heavier than the other ones, and there's a little bit of a shine. So I'm hoping it's another convention exclusive. I've already gotten... Two convention exclusives, two Supergirl, one movie Harley Quinn. Hopefully, there's supposedly another Harley Quinn one out there, and since that's my girl, I want to go for that. So, pre-cut already so I don't damage or cut myself in front of you peeps. So, there we go, since I'm getting better at all this. Oh, and there is a poly bag, so that might mean a convention exclusive or a Fortnite one. So, obviously, Dark Crisis. Oh, I was right. It's a Fortnite. Zero point. So that might be my shiny. Let's see. Is it a variant? Ooh, it's number one, though. Okay. I'll take it. It's a nice cover. I don't think I have this cover. I'm going to have to check. And what's next? Batman 99. I have this. It's a variant cover by Derek Chu of Clown Killer. I don't think this is Clown Killer's first appearance, though. And Justice League Last Ride. Is it a number one? That'd be nice. Fuck yeah, I'll take a number one. Even though it's kind of damaged. I'll probably get rid of it. Cool Derek Robinson co Robertson cover, though. The Boys, Derek Robertson, written by Chip Zdarsky. I don't know who the artist is, so I'm going to get rid of it. Might as well. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this fucking thing's damaged as shit. Miguel Mendocanona. Hey, his art's actually pretty damn good. <clears throat> compared to some of the recent Harley Quinn artists. I Yeah, that's nice, and it's actually good paper quality. The ink's not coming off on me, but this one was just done. June 2021, the art was done, so it's a relatively new book. I am pleased, once again, with the Derek Chu Clown Killer, so if he does a uh, signing, I'll probably send this puppy in. And uh, Jimenez is doing the art. I won't open this Fortnite because I really don't think I have this cover. But usually it says variant cover on it. So maybe I was given a variant. But either way, a number one is a number one is a number one. Number ones are the shit. Even though number ones are generally not the ones that are worth the most because retailers order a bunch of number ones. Then they're unsure of how the book's going to sell so that they order less of two and three. And then they, by then they can gauge it. And then another... Dark Crisis. Okay, no, no. A little bit of spine damage. Ooh, a lot of spine damage. All right, this might be sold as well. This art's pretty good. Who is it? Sampir? I'm not as caught up as I would like to be on current comics, but they just don't interest me anymore. As you can tell from my videos, I'm reading all the old shit. The good old shit. Because those were the good old days. Let's see. Daniel Sampir. Art, so he did the inking as well. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. Not the best. I got the shitty Justice League. At least Black Adam. Harley. Oh boy, I'm not, maybe I shouldn't read these. All right, that's what I got. Fortnite's cool enough as it is. I have one more of these packs to go. So let me know in the comments what you got, which packs you're seeing at your local Walmart. If you've given up on the Walmart Marvel packs, kind of like I have. I almost bought one because they had. Star Wars Obi-Wan and it was the variant but the let's see this one's damaged anyway the plastic had like peeled it up and fucked them up so I'm like I ain't paying eight bucks for that thanks for playing but yeah let me know in the comments like subscribe share something I'm almost to 100 subscribers that's huge so help me out bye